My name is Ishal Abdul Halain. Welcome to my video on the 68K instructions. This is the second part from a six part series that will explain the instructions available for programming the 68K microprocessor. Now, let's begin with the data transfer and arithmetic instructions. The data transfer instruction allows for the transfer of 32 bit, 16 bit, or 8 bit data between registers, register and memory, or between memory locations. There are 10 instructions to transfer data at your disposal in the 68K microprocessor. I have chosen two data transfer instructions as an example for you. The first is EXG which stands for exchange, we will look at the operation, general syntax, size, and how it affects the status register. Its function is to swap the contents between any two registers, the general syntax is EXGRX, RY, the source may be any register while the destination may also be any register. It only allows a long word operand to be exchanged, it does not affect any of the status registers, that's why I wrote 5 dashes for the 5 bits of the status registers. Now, for the example, the execution of EXGD0D1 simply swaps the contents of registers D0 and D1, the condition code registers are not affected. The second instruction is LEA. This stands for Load Effective Address. We will look at the operation, general syntax, size, and how it affects the status register. This instruction is used to load data from an effective address into any address register. Its general syntax is LEAEA, AN. This instruction works only on long word size data, the status register is unaffected by this instruction. The example shows the instruction LEAA0 plus comma A1. The source addressing mode is the address register indirect with post increment. Upon execution, the address in memory pointed by the source, which is the value in A0 is loaded into register A1. After the data is loaded, the value in A0 is incremented by 4. It is incremented by 4 because this instruction operates on long word data only, and long word data is stored in 4 consecutive addresses. The condition code register is shown to be unaffected by this instruction. Let's look at the arithmetic instruction type available for you to program the 68K microprocessor. Its purpose is to add, subtract, multiply, divide, clear, compare, negate, and sign extend data in registers and memory. There are 23 instructions altogether. This group of instructions are for addition. This single instruction is for clearing up operands. This group is for comparing data. This group is for division. This group is sign extension. This group is used for multiplication operations. This group is to negate data, in other words it changes a positive value to a negative value. Finally, this group is for subtraction. Let's look at an example of the add instruction. We will first take a look at the operation, general syntax, size, and how it affects the status register. Addition is accomplished by adding the data in the source and destination operands and moving the results into the destination operand. There are two general syntaxes as shown here. This instruction works on byte, word, and long word size data. Now, for the status register, the extend flag follows the value of the carry flag. All other flags are affected by this instruction. This is why I'm showing an asterisk symbol in the affected bits of the status register. The instruction in the example is add.bd0, d3. This implies that the operand size is a byte and that d0 is the source register while d3 is the destination. If the data in d0 is 11101111 and data in d3 is 00100000, then, upon execution, these two values are added up starting from the LSB, 1 plus 0 equals 1, then we have 1 plus 0 equals 1 again. Upon completion, we see that there is a 1 carried out of the MSB, this causes the carry flag to be set to 1. The extend flag equals the carry flag, thus, it is 2 set to 1. The 8-bit result is moved to the first 8 bits of register D3. The result is a non-zero number and an overflow did not occur after the execution. The value in the status register is therefore updated to 10001. An example of the clear instruction is next, the mnemonic is CLR. 
let's have a look at the operation, general syntax, size, and how it affects the status register. Upon execution, the destination operand is reset to zero. The general syntax is clr.size effective address. The size may be byte, word, or long word. As for the condition code register, the X bit is not affected. Bit Z is set to 1 because the results of clearing the operand is a value equal to 0. Bits N, V and C are reset to 0 after execution. This example shows that the initial hexadecimal value in D0 is 1520 2020. Once the instruction clr.ld0 is executed, its value changes to 0. The status register is then updated as follows, the X bit is unchanged. Z is set to 1 because the result is 0. All of the other bits are reset to zero because this is the default setting after execution of the CLR instruction. An example of the unsigned multiply instruction is next, the mnemonic is MULU. Let's have a look at the operation, general syntax, size, and how it affects the status register. Upon execution, the destination operand is loaded with the multiplication results of the data in the source and destination operand. The general syntax is MULU effective address comma any data register. Only word length data may be multiplied. However, the result is a long word piece of data. As for the condition code register, the X bit is not affected. After the execution of this instruction, it will resume its previous value. Bits N and Z are affected, bits V and C are reset to zero after execution. This example shows the instruction MULU D0 comma D1. Assume that D0 contains the hexadecimal value of 0A. D1 contains 02. Multiplication is carried out from the LSB, the first bit with value 0 in D3 is multiplied through all of the bits at the top, this results in 0 written in 16 bits format, then, the second bit position is multiplied, the results are written with the LSB ending at the second bit position, then, the third bit position is multiplied, the results are written with the LSB ending at the third bit position. All of the other remaining bits are multiplied through by the 68K microprocessor. Finally, the MSB of D1 is multiplied through the bits of D0. This results are placed such that the LSB is in the 16th bit position. To complete the multiplication, all of the results are added, resulting in a 32-bit number. The results in hexadecimal is 10. The whole long word is moved to D1. The status register is then updated as follows, the X bit is unchanged. N and Z are set to 0 because the result is a non-zero positive number, bits V and C are reset to 0 because this is the default setting after execution of the MULU instruction. I hope that this video has shed light on the data transfer and arithmetic operation. Hopefully you will try out all of the other instructions you saw in this video using the instruction set for the 68K microprocessor that you can download from the internet, have a productive day.